My God today. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. <laughs> Our next guest was a notorious criminal whose role in a multi-million dollar bank fraud scheme landed her a sentence of 12 and a half years. Ooh. Although she became known as the bank fraud queen, she has since turned her life around and is collecting her bag legally these days. Wow. Her story was recently documented on BET's new crime series, American Gangster Trap Queens. Welcome author and motivational speaker, Jamila Davis. Yes. Hi. My God, Jamila. Michelle, thank you guys for having me. Well, thank you for being here. Now, we know this show is about um, is, is about women who are infamous who committed major crimes. Mm -hmm. But before we get into that story, let's get into your personal story and mm -hmm. your background. And, you know, tell the people that you were, uh, a, you come from a two-period household, you were an honor roll student, so this wasn't no, oh, mm -hmm. I wasn't down to the streets and fell into no. this life. Mm -hmm. Talk to us I about just, your background. I mean, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I just yeah. like the boys, you know, the little bad the boys bad that boys. was doing <laughs> <laughs> thing, you know? And so I was attracted to street life. I was mm. sheltered. My mother was a school teacher, mm. father, transit supervisor. And so my first year of going to high school performing arts in Manhattan, I met my first boyfriend who was a 16-year-old drug dealer. Mm. And going into the projects and seeing life in the fast lane, I just got caught up. Mm. Wow. So, so when all of this happened, take us through how you got into the drug. And yes, you, you had the boyfriend, mm -hmm. but then how did you come into making that first sale on your well, own? Well, the first sale came because he dumped me for a 16-year-old baker, and he said she got her own money. So basically, I was relying on his money at the time because he was basically spending it on me. He left me for her, and immediately I was crushed. And as a 14-year-old girl indulging in activities you're really not supposed to be in, you don't really know what to do. Mm -hmm. So my get back was I'm going to get as much money as I can, and I'm going to show him, you know, who, who's really the baddest. And a baker is in... in street terms. No, 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 no. That well, was, was a in regular. She, she was a real baby. baby. She was 16 baby. years old. Like, yeah. So she had her working papers, so oh, okay. she could work. Because yeah. well, she like a baker down to the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 I know that's right. I know that's right. The cook-up. Uh, I know you can't really understand the cook-up. Is it this kind of baker or this kind of baker? How are you able to keep this away from your mom and your parents? Well, actually, to be honest with you, when my mother found out that I was messing, and if anybody know my mother, she wasn't trying to hear that. So I ended up like running away. And this happens with so many different people because you try to shelter your kids and your kids rebel. Mm -hmm. When I was in my teens, I rebelled against my mother because I thought I knew everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And at, speaking of your teens, at 17, you actually did uh, spend some time at, for selling cocaine. Mm -hmm. um, and you waited three months in jail for bond but didn't serve any additional time. Mm -hmm. What do you think, um, and we talk about like just wanting this and wanting that. Mm -hmm. Did you ever have a, a moment in your life at that time where you were like, what, what path am I going down? Mm -hmm. Like, did you ever feel a realization like, is this what I'm really, what I really want to do, or am I just out here? Can I be honest with Were you? you I, I just wanted to be a cool kid. I wanted to be down. Yeah. So when you want to be down and you want to be accepted by society, mm. you do what you think you need to do. Mm. So I went from one hustle to the to the other. Right. I hustled this, hustle that, and I like to hear them say, yo, she the fly girl, she get that money. Yeah, I was right. pulling up in the whips that the dudes had. Mm. So, you know, the, the street and the hood was loving me, and really that false sense of love and validation yeah. is really what screwed yeah. me all the way up. Yeah. Mm. And it screws so many teens up too today. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and, and let's just fast forward because you single-handedly took Lehman Brothers down. Let's talk about you got into <laughs> oh, real estate, the, the, you're doing your thing in real that's estate. That's what they say, per se. But yeah, I got into real estate. I, I was always smart, and I just didn't know how to channel that inner mm -hmm. energy. Mm -hmm. So I put it into all of the wrong things yeah. and figuring things out. I could always put things together and figure things out. So I got into this industry, and I was really led in by white, seasoned males who knew what they was doing. Mm -hmm. So they showed me the game, mm -hmm. and then I got in the game and really got slammed for being a part of the game. Oh, mm. wow. So you did a little real estate fraud? A little real estate fraud, yes. Uh -huh. Some real and, estate and, fraud. And, and your counterparts, who were of another persuasion, mm -hmm. they got like two years, but you, my dear, got 12 yes, years. Yes, that's mm. correct. Mm. Do you believe that that was uh, solely focused on you being an African-American woman, or was that, did you not have the right defense team? And nah, nah. I, I, I spent hundreds of thousand dollars on a legal defense team. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about that. It was about I was the wrong color and the wrong gender to be in Ooh. the white man's my God boys club. Today. Jamila, now Jeez. that you are here with us mm -hmm. in society because you said you just got out two years ago mm -hmm. you paid your debt so how are you adjusting now because 
still smart girl, still, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? How are you adjusting now to society? Well, I think the most important thing is what the awakening that happened behind bars. Mm -hmm. When I finally got stripped away from everything, everything and all the designer clothes are gone and you just got to strip down to your bare bones, I had to face my demons. Mm -hmm. And in prison, I had an encounter with God. And it's that spiritual encounter that made me realize what matters most. I knew that when the judge banged that gavel, if this was my last day on earth and I was to see my maker, he would not say job well done. Mm -hmm. So I knew I had to live for a different reason. So behind bars, I started writing books. I mm -hmm. wrote over a dozen books. Mm -hmm. And the mother I told you that I rebelled against, she ended up being my best friend. Mm -hmm. She started a publishing company, so we started publishing books together from behind the wall. Mm -hmm. I started a movement, and I started developing curriculum, just doing something different. Yeah. And I really found my true gifts and talents behind bars. So it's that that prepared me for what I'm living today. Wow. Quickly, Jamila, tell us a little bit about your advocacy group mm -hmm. uh, in terms of lengthy sentences for African American. American mm -hmm. women. Mm -hmm. So it's long. women over incarcerated and basically we created that to shed light on the lengthy sentences women get for nonviolent crimes. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of women friends that are s serving double life sentences behind bars My for nonviolent crimes that people don't even know that they exist. Oh, it's yeah. real in America. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very interesting Jeez. because well our president had a nice university and nothing uh -huh. happened to him. But I digress. <laughs> uh, thank you, Jamila. Yeah. Thank yes. you for your yeah. story. For thank you story. for your courage. Yeah. Thank you so much for uh, being here with thank us. Thank you American, for having me. Yeah. American Gays and Trap into. Queens thank is you. streaming yeah. now on BET+. Plus. Also, be sure to keep up with everything she's doing by following her on Instagram at Jamila T. Davis.